Hi everyone, happy full moon in Libra. Where are my Libra moons at? Leave me a little Libra emoji in the comments if you're a Libra moon. My name is Crystal Keen from Lightworker Sisterhood and it is my desire and intent to bring you messages of clarity. Now this is, this reading does have the intention for being for the full moon in Libra, but we'll say that you will find this also whenever it is that you actually need it. So it can be a timeless reading as well. So you'll see before you three piles, just go ahead and take a minute to use your intuition to see which one you're drawn to the most. It can be more than one, but try to narrow it down to just one pile. If you need more time, go ahead and pause the video and make your selection. I'll see you at your pile. Welcome. If you chose pile one, then this is your reading. We're going to start off with the magical spell cards. The first question here is what is out of alignment in your life? It says fertility. Let all take root, seed, and sprout. Let new life be all about. Okay, so it feels like a new start is wanting to come in for you. There are opportunities that are waiting for you, but you might be holding on to something. Kind of how this woman is holding on to the fruits. Here, I'll bring that a little bit closer so that way you can see. And the color is red, so definitely... This could be issues to do with the root chakra, and that's something that could be out of balance right now or could be blocked. It could do from childhood or it could just do with maybe you are in a lack mentality. There's something that's a struggle in your survivability quite possibly that's throwing that out of balance and therefore affecting your fertility your manifestations, and these could be spiritual lessons as well with that seven there, and you put it together and it's a 10. So endings are wanting to come in so that way you can bring in this new beginning and have more fruitful things into your life. Your life is screaming for this to happen, for this alignment to happen. So if you can get a hold of some red crystals to balance that root chakra or go to a Reiki healer or heal yourself, Listen to something on YouTube that can help to balance that. Go ahead and do that. If it's if you feel like your root chakra is in balance, but it's just your manifestations aren't coming into fruition quick enough, then try to find something to get your mind off of it so that way it can come in faster for you. The second question is how to find a deeper inner alignment. How can you find a deeper inner alignment? says dream sweet sleep deep sleep that's deep and last till morn wondrous dreams for days reborn so the way that you can find a deeper inner alignment is by getting restful sleep so seeing the four here four has to deal with home it has to do with stability so you might be having fitful sleep because you are worried about things that come with your home. Things to do with that root chakra. Again, it feels kind of like it's an alignment there. That they go together. They're connected together. If you're worried about things at home, you're worried about stability, then it's going to affect your sleep. And five has to do with difficulty, challenge, and changes. You might be going through changes right now. And ultimately, it's affecting your sleep. Or you might be having nightmares. Pay attention to what's coming in for you because those nightmares are showing you exactly what's wrong. If you don't know exactly what's wrong, your nightmares, your dreams are trying to tell you what it is. And you can, you know, journal that for, say, maybe a month. If you don't like to journal for a month, maybe two weeks. Link up those themes that go together and you can get a bigger and deeper message. And together it's a nine. Again, with that endings. So that way you can bring in those new beginnings. So how is it that you can align with what you want? Through harmony. 
As I create, I will share harmony divine with love and care. So allow more harmony into your life. If you allow situations and find a way to make situations in balance more harmonious, if you can find the calm, the eye of the storm, and no matter what situation is going on, no matter what's going on in your life, you will create more harmony, which will allow you to sleep better, which will allow you to let things go, feel a little less stress, and bring in the things that you want. It will balance that root chakra. You'll have your fertility. This may have to do with relationships too, seeing the two, it's balance, it's relationships. And again, seven has to do with spiritual lessons. So you could be going through quite a few spiritual lessons right now. Not sure if they're karmic or not, but either way, they're ultimately for your growth. All right, let me move these over a little bit. And how is it that you can manifest more peace and harmony in your life through confidence by earth and air water and fire let my confidence take light burn higher so again i'm seeing a balance here a balance of relationships a balance of maybe work and play worry and letting go duality, uh, manifestation themes, balancing that sacral chakra as well. Clearing out that sacral chakra is going to be really beneficial for you. So allow yourself to express those emotions. Call in all of those elements. You know, you could do a ceremony for yourself for clarity and to get the things that you want. Call in all of the elements and see what comes through for you. Burn an offering, give an offering to the elements. And I feel that that will bring more peace and harmony into your life. Better sleep, better security. I'm moving through these spiritual lessons overall. So now that we've gone through the main theme here, I pulled a crystal card for you to see what crystal would be most beneficial for you to help you at this time. Now I'm going to go ahead and read this out of the book. I have Emerald for you with compassion. I'm just going to go ahead and put that there. Let me find that really quick. Emerald with compassion. Already, I feel like it's being more compassionate with yourself. Perhaps you've been quite difficult on yourself. It does have to do with the heart chakra. It says, crystal meanings, promotes divine love and compassion, assists in staying connected to the wisdom of the heart, deeply activates the heart chakra and assists in creating intimacy. Assist in letting go of old connections and superficial relationships. Okay, so that could be where this disharmony is happening. You know that you're supposed to be moving away from something, from someone. And it's difficult for you. You may feel like you're not ready yet, but the universe is telling you that it's time. And you just want to do it in your own timing. Or you just don't know how to move forward. And it's affecting every aspect of your life, unfortunately. Here's a message from the Crystal Deva on that. You have attracted this card today because your current situation is calling for a deeper level of compassion. Although this is your natural state of being, at times due to life experience, your heart can close off to this compassionate love. You are being called to drop deeply into your heart as you awaken the pure essence of who you truly are. If you have been feeling a lack of love for yourself, those around you, and the situations in your life, this is a wonderful opportunity for you to expand your heart as you are being guided and supported to awaken the compassion that lies within. Opening up to compassion is the only way for you to truly love yourself and heal the current situation at hand. You are being encouraged to let go of any judgments and expectations you have about yourself and others. Well, right now, being the Libra full moon, 
We know Libra is all about balance and justice. So um, it seems like you're being the judge and jury when it comes to it. This would be a good time to let that go and sort it all out. Where was I at? Oh, okay. You may have about yourself and others. It's time to forgive yourself and let go of any self-criticisms as you allow compassion to heal your heart. You're encouraged to be gentle at this time. The Devas of Emerald invite you to open and let them shine their healing light of compassion deeply into your heart. Place this card on your heart chakra and breathe this healing energy deep into your being to bring a deep sense of compassion. So, you know, let's just take a moment to go ahead and do that together. So just go ahead and put your hands onto your heart center. Put your hands right in the middle of your chest. Close your eyes. You are safe to do this with me. Unless you're driving, then don't do this with me at this time. All right. Feel the beat of your heart chakra activated under your hands. And if you don't feel the beating of your heart chakra under your hands, you can practice this every day until you do feel it. Now just take a deep breath in through your nose for a count of two. And blow it out of your mouth for a count of four, just releasing that stress, releasing the anxiety, and just letting what wants to come in, come in, and what wants to go, go. All right, and go ahead and open your eyes. So for your next cards here, these are your last cards, actually. I pulled cards to see how you could raise your vibration during this full moon period. And I got three cards for you. First is, it's okay for you to feel what you need to feel. And I can feel for some of you, this is quite an emotional thing. It is okay to have feelings. It's okay to express yourself in a healthy way. It's okay to feel compassion for yourself. You are safe here. The universe has you. You are being held in a cosmic type of womb. You're in a holding period. You won't be here forever. Just take the time to rest, to let go, to release, to cry, to feel, to sleep. And then lastly, I am fulfilled by love, by self-love, by love of the divine, by love of those that are your support system. And if your support system is toxic, call in a new one. Call in your soul family. Call in your tribe. But first, focus on feeling that love for yourself. Raise your vibration by feeling that love for yourself. Well, those are all the messages that I have for you at this time. Thank you so much for sitting with me, for listening to these messages. I have so much love and compassion for you. Always remember where there's love, there's light. Where there's light, there's beauty. And where there's beauty, there's you. I'll see you next time in my next reading. Hi, if you chose pile two, then this is your reading. Your full moon and Libra reading. First, I have four cards for you. Each of them are associated with a question. The first question is, what is out of alignment in your life? It says authenticity. Who I truly am is good indeed. I am a thought authentic in thought, word, and deed. Oh, don't burn the <laughs> don't want to burn the card here, okay? And maybe that's a sign of uh burning away the mask, burning away the expectations that other people have for you. Letting that old version of yourself die off 
So that way that phoenix could be reborn and you can be your true and authentic self. You may not feel safe. You might feel like you're going to be rejected. But you are good. You are a wonderful person and it is okay to be your authentic self. In fact, being anything but that can cause a depression. And what is depression? It means that you need deep rest because your body, your soul is tired of playing out being this certain type of person that you are not. Being around those people that you feel like you can't be yourself around. That is a sign right there that it's time to move away from them. It can be difficult, especially if you're into something completely different than other people are into. You know, you're, you've completely changed from who you were and who people expect you to be or know you to be. And they're going to be wondering, what happened to you? Why are you like this now? It's okay. We all go through that. I'm wondering if you are recently awakened or you're going through another spiritual awakening. If so, I would say that's another type of confirmation for it. But that one, giving yourself that new beginning to be yourself, express yourself, be that leader that you want to be. Be that individual that you want to be. Damn the consequences of it, as long as you're not hurting anybody, obviously. The next question is, how do you find a deeper inner alignment? You can find a deeper inner alignment through love. Aphrodite, I call to thee to bring a true love here to me. Again, we're having that one. I'm seeing the blues here, so... That's definitely about the throat chakra. Again, that authentic expression of yourself. I'm going to move these over a little bit. If you feel called to work with Aphrodite, then go ahead and do that. If you see doves around you, I would say that's a sign that love is coming in. Or you can ask for that to be a divine sign for you. And maybe you feel like you can't be yourself because you feel like you may not attract the type of love that you're looking for. I'm not going to say that's messages for all of you, but it may be for some of you. And that's just simply not true. I would say by being who you truly are, you will attract exactly what it is that you need. Watch for those repeating ones. Those are definitely your sign. See, yep, okay. Your next card definitely confirms that. How to align with what you want. So the way that you can align with what you want is through passion. Rise passion, rise up high, inflame my purpose, reach the sky. And look at what is on that card, an 11. You see that? 10, 1, 11, 1, 11 here. So yeah, bring the passion into it. Express your passions. Throw yourself into things that you absolutely love. And I think you're also, by doing that, you're going to find your divine purpose. You're going to find your life path purpose, your soul purpose. You're going to come into finding people that align with that, circumstances that align with that, and you could attract a new love, the love that you're looking for through that and more love for yourself as well. But definitely dive into that passion and ask for Aphrodite's help if you so feel called to do that. So how can you manifest more peace and harmony in your life? You can do that through glamour. In this mirror, I now see the realms of possibility. So in her hands, I see her working with a mirror. So some type of mirror divination, mirror work. I see the candle there, so that has to deal with illumination or working with candle divination. I personally don't do those things. I don't know much about them. But maybe you do, or maybe you're being called to look into them and try them yourself. You know, doing more spell work. Again, see, look at all these ones. Look at all this individuality. All the new beginnings, all the confirmations that are coming through for you. This wants to come in for you. It's calling out to you. You just have to grab it. 
by starting to be your most authentic expression. Now, those are your main cards when it comes to the full moon spread. But I also drew a crystal card to see what crystal that would be best for you to work with or the energies of it to work with. I ended up getting two for you. You're the only pile that I got two for. And these ones came flying out. They want to work with you, okay? Pink tourmaline with forgiveness. And then soul connection crystal with lovers. I'm gonna read both of those out of the book. Let's start with the pink tourmaline. I'm sure that these probably aren't the cheapest crystals. So, you know, by gazing upon it, calling in those types of energies and stuff, that will help as well. Where is it at? Almost there. Be patient with me. Here we go. All right. For that pink tourmaline, the crystal meanings are stone of grace, aligning with your soul to the sacred and divine vibration. Assist in releasing blame and guilt and finding deep forgiveness. Powerfully opens and heals the heart. Transforms barriers around the heart chakra. Opens you to experience the magic and joy that life has to share. Increases and encourages spontaneity and fun. And here is a message from this Crystal Deva. You have called this card into your life to remind you it's a powerful time of forgiveness. There may be a current situation in your life that's calling for a deeper level of forgiveness, or you could be encouraged to delve deeper into the forgiveness of yourself. Finding the strength to truly forgive sets you free from the chains of pain you wrap around yourself throughout life. Holding on to resentments about yourself and others only hurts one person, and that's you. In truth, the only way to forgive someone or something is to first forgive yourself. The act of forgiveness comes when you are prepared to accept that everything in life happens for a reason and you are the creator of your own reality and life experiences. You always have the power to choose how you deal with life. When you choose to forgive, you invite deep healing into your world. The devils have appeared today to offer you their healing light as you embark on the sacred journey of forgiveness at this powerful time. They encourage you to open your heart fully as you offer up to them all your worries and pains for transformation. The devils are bathing your heart with their healing medicine of love. Allow your heart to blossom as you open to the true meanings of forgiveness and experience the love and beauty that exists within you. It's time to surrender and forgive oh so you definitely you could have been hurt by someone in the past or maybe you felt like you've made some big mistakes yourself sometimes those things happen to teach us lessons though life is happening for you not to you and when you're going through difficult circumstances that could be a hard pill to swallow and you could think, I didn't ask for this. I didn't want this. I didn't want this pain. But try to look at the bigger picture as things go by. And then for the soul connection crystal, let me find that. Soul connection. Here we go. The crystal meaning is realizing true union and unity with another, creating personal balance, realizing unity and oneness with self, creating peace and harmony, enhancing communication, connecting to nature and the arts. And the Deva's message for this is, the lover's card has arrived today as a reflection that a deeper love is flowing into your life. It could be an expanding love in your current romantic relationship or possibly even for yourself. If you have asked about a certain person, this card can reflect that this relation is a soulmate connection. You may have been waiting for this kind of relationship to manifest in which you can feel a deep connection with another and now it has arrived. 
Whatever your situation may be, this card is confirming that you are currently attracting a soulmate connection into your life. The soulmate union is the deepest mirror and reflection one can experience. As you share this deep union with another, you often feel a depth of love deeper than you may have ever experienced before. This opening of the heart can sometimes be challenging due to painful experiences around love that have kept your heart closed because of this fear of being hurt. You're encouraged to work with the devas to assist you in healing these old painful wounds. Open your heart fully as you deepen in the love for yourself and your beloved. This is perfect timing for you and a powerful opportunity to experience love and connection on a deeper level. Believe and know that you are deserving of this divine love. Allow, allow this love to flow into every aspect of your life and open to the bliss and joy it creates on all levels. This card can also indicate that a friendship, child, or animal present in your life is a deep soul companion here to share love, healing, and growth. And as for that crystal, it says um, that it's variations of clear and smoky quartz. So if you have clear quartz and smoky quartz, you can go ahead and work with those. That will help with grounding, clearing all of your chakras, amplifying manifestations, and um, forgiveness work. Definitely forgiveness work as well. To finish your reading out, I pulled cards for you to find out how it is that you could raise your vibration up. Your first card is, I trust in my gifts. So if you have been doubting that you have gifts, trust that you do have them. If these are psychic gifts, if they are physical gifts, such as dancing or painting or playing an instrument or singing or science equations, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the list could go on and on and on, but you do have these gifts, trust them. To me, I feel like with the star there, that it definitely has to deal with psychic gifts, your intuition. You've been getting these intuitive hits when it comes to this. You know the right action that it is to take. So trust in that and follow it. Then you have relationships are assignments. Ooh, look at the butterflies on them. They're in two different directions, signifying to me past and future. How you can change the direction of it. Something, some of these relationships you were just meant to learn from. It was for a reason. It was for a season. It was for a lesson. It wasn't for a lifetime. Transform that pain. And then the last card that I have for you is I trust wisdom within. Okay, so I feel like that goes with that. I trust my gifts. You see the, the star right there on the third eye. And then you see the star right here. So you may be quite clairvoyant. See what visions that are coming in for you. Meditate on it. Visualize yourself forgiving. Visualize yourself healing. Visualize what you want your life to look like when you're done doing this work and then let it go. And then as you meditate in the future, see what other visions come through and trust what it is that you're seeing. Don't doubt it. Don't shut it down. Well, that is all the messages that I have for you, Pile 2. Thank you so much for spending this time for me with me. I have so much love and compassion for you. And always remember where there's love, there's light. Where there's light, there's beauty. And where there's beauty, there's you. I hope to see you in my next reading. Have a beautiful and wonderful day. Hi, if you chose pile three, then this is your pile. I hope that your full moon in Libra is going very well. So to start, I have four main questions. The first question is, what is out of alignment in your life? It says, healing, candle flame, burn this hour. Bring to me your healing power. Ooh, so you may be ignoring things that need to be healed, especially things that have to do with balance, duality, relationships, and endings of those things. 
or you could be stuck in a state where you are healing too much. Some people, they just, all they only ever focus on is healing, healing, healing. I'm, I'm broken. I need to heal this before I move forward. I need to heal that before I can take this action type of deal. So you would fall into probably one of those two groups there. Where either you're ignoring what it is that needs to be healed in one of these aspects. Or you have just been focusing far too much when it comes to the healing journey. And it feels like you're kind of caught in a bit of a fog. There's this fogginess to it. If you can see it, you see the... Um, Kind of the smoke clouds in the back when it comes to it. I can't tell what this is. It looks like a building up on stilts. This makes me feel like this is a place maybe where high waters would kind of come. I'm just going to kind of put this out there. I am wondering if maybe some people in this pile have addictions that they don't want to move past. The fogginess can be being in the haze of addiction and you're so high up in the clouds that you're just not seeing what it is that needs to be healed type of deal. Again, that's not for everyone. That may be for one or two of you possibly. The next question is how to find a deeper inner alignment. You can find a deeper inner alignment through good cheer. With kind heart and humor free, may good cheer rule, so mote it be. All right, so getting together with friends, having a wonderfully creative, enjoyable time, maybe going out and doing things, expressing yourself, lots of laughter, seeing um, the orange here, that's a very uh, emotional chakra. The sacral chakra is emotional chakra. So lots of laughter, lots of creativity, lots of sexuality type of deal. So, I mean, maybe getting some relief that way as well. If you've kind of had a dry spell lately, I'm going to kind of keep that PG a little bit and not say any more about that. But that's how you can find a deeper inner alignment. It's by allowing more joy more happiness, more good cheer, having your closest friend come and sit with you. Probably somebody that could be quite spiritual because I don't know if you could see that. Uh, do you see that star above her head? So it feels very spiritual in nature to me. I think by allowing this, you're going to allow a transformation within yourself seeing these wings here. These wings are a little bit lighter, so perhaps this person has already done a transformation themselves or, you know, vice versa. Maybe you're the really spiritual one and you're hanging out with somebody that's already transformed. Either way. The next question is how to align with what you want. How is it that you can align with what you want? Through safe home, I cast a circle roundabout. Safety now is beyond doubt. So by feeling safe, aligning with your heart, knowing that everything's going to be okay, it's going to allow you to align with your desires. You have to ask yourself, have you been feeling insecure lately? Have you been feeling like you were safety has been at risk and has that been causing your base behaviors here of either ignoring the healing or being in a state of where you're healing too much or maybe diving deep into addictive behaviors not feeling safe can cause all of those types of things and then you would kind of go back and figure out the root cause of that I feel spirit is letting you know that you can manifest this safety. You can call them in to help you feel safe and cast this protection around your home, around yourself. So that way you can move forward. 
And lastly, how to manifest more peace and harmony in your life. You can manifest more peace and harmony in your life through organization. Purpose, planning, efficiency. Now come to me so easily. So building up your stability. Two is definitely your number when it comes to it. See? Now two, two, two. So seeing two, two, two would definitely be a thing for you. Or nines. Seeing nines as well, repeating, would uh, be extra messages for you. Pay attention to what's going on around at that time. And if you hear ringing in your ear, always check the time. And if it has the number two or nine in it, then you know it's talking to you about this healing and good cheer and safety and organizing and planning for your future. For your most authentic expression, for a healed heart, for that creativity and um, clear thinking we'll say those were your main questions there now I pulled a crystal card to see what would help you the most what crystal would help you the most during this time and the crystal you got is sunstone with empowerment I want to go ahead and read this one out of the book The crystal meaning is connects to the energy of the divine source of all things, awakens self-empowerment, creating strength and courage, enhances leadership qualities, and the ability to listen to your higher guidance, dissolves frustration in your life, activates rebirth, facilitates transformation. See, we were talking about that transformation with those butterflies there. The... Deva, the Crystal Deva message for this is the Devas of Sunstone have arrived in your world today to share the next part of your journey with you. They are here to assist you and encourage you to step fully into your power on all levels. You may have been feeling a lack of energy, direction, and clarity in your life, which can be a sign that you're giving over your power. It is now time to let go and heal whatever has held you back from embracing your full potential and power. If you have been sitting on the sidelines, it's now a perfect time to dance into your own light. You are encouraged to listen to your own intuition, and if you have been compromising yourself due to fear of others, rejection, you are being encouraged to stop any self-sabotaging behavior. It is time for you to speak up for what you believe in, and as you step further into your power, you will know exactly what to say and how to say it in a diplomatic and compassionate way. Know that you are a strong and empowered person and it's time to be seen and heard. The world needs people like you to step up and shine your light. Work closely with Sunstone because this medicine will assist you greatly in dissolving any fears that may hold you back from truly awakening your personal power, allowing you to shine in all of your magnificence. Beautiful. You are powerful. Call back that power. Take action. Your last three cards that I have for you are ways that you can raise your vibration. The first card we have is let your inner fire warm you, not burn you. Ooh. Okay, so when you call back your power, don't let it be so consuming that you go completely left field from where you are now. Take steps, I would say, is probably what the message for that is. I am surrounded by angels. Ah, your angels are here. They are here to help you. Now, you may see little glimmers of them out of your eye. When my angels are around... I either feel like I'm being blasted by a heater, I'm nowhere near a heat source, nothing that could be causing it, you know, angels are very warm by nature, archangels in particular. Um, you could smell roses, so you know, smelling flower type of scents when there are no flowers around, it could be another sign. You could see little sparkles, you know, movement out of your eye. It wouldn't be like a dark type of movement, it would be 
kind of like a whitish type of outline, but it sparkles. Or you might see kind of like this little beam of light, almost if you were to have a string that would be completely filled with light. But you know, of course, you, you turn and it's gone. But those are signs that your angels are there. And then your last one is, it is safe for you to shine. Now, does that not go with that sunstone empowerment? The world is ready to see you shining, and it is safe for you to do that. You feel safe at home, not just in your physical home, but within yourself, your body. So that way, um, you can shine again. Shine the way that you're meant to. Share your gifts with the world. Bring that good cheer, not just to yourself, but to others. So take this time to efficiently write things out and organize your life and start taking those steps forward. The world is waiting for you and the universe is backing you. Your angels are backing you. Now, when it comes to working with angels, you have to ask them for help. They'll just stand on the sidelines because you have free will. You have to ask for the help. So if there's a certain problem that you're having, you could either say in your mind or ask out loud, angels, can you please help me with removing this issue? Can you help me with taking away this pain? Can you help me with empowerment and strength? Can you help me with cutting these cords? You could ask your team. You can ask your higher self. But I really feel like it's your angels that want to work with you when it comes to this. Make sure to spend some time outside too, especially with that sunstone. You know, kind of taking that action to get those light codes in and actively calling them to you. You know, just going out, I set the intention to absorb these light codes for my highest good type of deal. If you feel called to do that, then I definitely encourage you to do that. Well, that is all the messages that I have for you. I have so much love and compassion for you. And always remember where there's love, there's light. Where there's light, there's beauty. And where there's beauty, there's you. I hope to see you in my next reading. Have a beautiful and wonderful day.